this video is going to be sort of like a part two to my previous video titled how to use your gaming pad or controller to play an epic game game now the problem with epic games is that it seems to be really bad at connecting your controller to your game so what we are essentially doing is that we are running epic game launcher through steam and steam is what that's connecting to your controller to the game if you haven't seen the first video i highly recommend that you check that out first uh, because there's a lot of configuration that i won't be going through again in this video um, however the alternative that i'll be sharing in this video is similar to the last one it could be also considered better but it comes with some risks and we'll talk more about that in just a minute now the whole reason for this video is because early today someone down in the comments in that video said that the uh, method of using steam to run the epic game launcher and then run the game that he's playing uh, did not work with his controller however he found a workaround which is to use steam directly run the game itself so right now i'm going to show you how you would do that and then after that we'll talk about the pros and cons the game that he was trying to play was dxm and i'm also going to use this as a example now i've already tested this with epic game launcher directly connected to my controller it doesn't work however if i were to run it with epic game launcher from steam it works but it didn't work for him so now i'm going to show you his method basically uh, let me get rid of this real quick i'm going to remove it from my steam so you're going to have to go to games add a non-steam game to my library and then you have to look for that particular game um, it's gonna be in your epic game folder wherever it's located so mine is in my d drive epic games then games and then after that this is the one this is the uh, dxm game from there you should find the application folder type or exe file click on that and then add selected programs so now it should pop out i think it's under the uncategorized there it is okay so i'm just gonna put it to my favorite so you can see it and from here you can run it and you should be able to play it i'm just going to show you really quickly now while we're waiting for it to load um, i would like to talk about the pros of this the uh, the good thing about doing this is that it bypasses epic games completely uh, this means that your computer does not need to run another launcher um, so I would consider like Steam as one of a launcher platform and then after that it has to run another launcher platform and then only you can play your game so your computer has to work harder because it's also maintaining another launcher so this method does not require you to do that uh, let's see if I can skip real quick press any button yes so you can see at the top I'm moving my joystick it has a A to confirm and B to cancel so if it's connected to keyboard you can see enter to confirm and escape to cancel now it's important to note that certain games just doesn't even have the interface to run a controller so they don't have the A to do what B to do what um, and it's not meant to be played on a controller now another thing that you might also want to consider is that if the controller type is supported so we saw a and b right but it's not an x or a square or x or a circle so it may support certain controllers and may not support certain controllers so that is also a condition that you have to think about that maybe not all controllers can run a particular game if that's the case then it's no longer about if the platform like epic game launcher could link your controller to the game it's more of a can your controller even be used in the game now just to give you a rough idea i'm gonna run epic game launcher right now and we're gonna see the consumption of running just one and also with another one so over here you can see that steam is using about 0.2 percent cpu uh 300 plus memory in megabytes and then also the uh, power consumption is very low now the epic game launcher right now is very high because it's starting up there's a lot of things to load if you hang out at the store page it will actually consume more because there's things going on it has to change pages you have to you know advertise the games 
similar to Epic, uh, sorry, similar to Steam as well. If you were to go to the store page, you'll find that the Steam will actually run at a higher consumption because uh, there's more things to display. But eventually, right? Eventually, or maybe you can just click on Library, and this one is the same as well. If you click on Library, after a while, it will come down to some kind of a idling speed, you could say, and you can actually see that for Steam it's still running relatively low CPU in comparison to the Epic Game Launcher at 3%. And then memory is also using less. And for some weird reason, Epic Game Launcher uses GPU as well, which I don't really understand why. There's no game actually running at the moment and there's also nothing being installed or updated. But for some reason, this is what Epic Game Launcher is doing. So. By not having your Epic Game Launcher on, you might actually improve your PC's performance. Now again, it really depends if you have a really good PC, this little mount might not mean much to you, but still is an advantage to the previous method. Now let's talk about the risk or negative effect that could come with this method. So first of all, if you bypass Epic Games completely, it won't be even turned on, so you probably will have difficulty connecting to your Epic Game friends. Secondly, I'm not too sure all the different methods that Epic Game would be making their revenue and if in-game purchase from different games actually contribute to a small percentage of their revenue, then they might have trouble detecting that transaction. Another risk that may come with this is that technically we are running a third-party software which is Steam on an Epic Game game. So if the game recognizes Steam as a threat, you may be labeled as hacking or something and may result into a ban. Now with that said, the previous video was out for more than 9 months and we haven't had a report saying that oh, you know, someone got banned because of a uh, suspicious third-party software or anything like that. Although to be fair, we are not trying to hurt the game in any way or cheat, we are just trying to use a controller on a game that supports controller, only thing that we couldn't connect because of Epic Games. Before I end the video, there's a few things I'd like to touch on which are small mistakes that people did in the last video. So the first one, which is very common, is that when you're trying to connect or trying to put in Epic Game Launcher into your Steam, you must make sure that your Epic Game Launcher is closed. So this means that it should not be appeared in the Task Manager and you should also check that there shouldn't be an icon here on Epic Games. So if it's not closed, basically whatever you did here will not take into effect until it is closed and reopened until everything is restarted. So if you are not sure if you did it when it's closed or not, you can actually restart your computer just to be safe if you want to do that. This comment in that video stating this issue is actually the number one comment in that video. And ironically enough, I've actually stated this in the video itself, but it wasn't positioned correctly and I guess a lot of people missed it. Basically what I said was, you'll see your Epic Game Launchers here. Make sure that your Epic Game Launcher is not open when you do this because otherwise it might cause some issues, it might hang, it might crash. Uh, I've tried it before. Now the next question that I get a lot is about Fortnite, which why not? Because Fortnite is a very very popular game and some people just couldn't connect to Fortnite with their controller. Now first of all, using this method was not required to run Fortnite simply because Fortnite is actually Epic Games own game and it makes a lot of sense that Epic Games would put the extra effort to make sure that controllers work in their game and I did not need to use this method as well when playing Fortnite until recently which I tried again and when I do that I could not use my controller unless using this method. Now I feel like for Fortnite, it's a little bit special. You can't really directly connect to the game itself. I tried a few times with different EXE files and it seems like it would either force the Epic game to open up as well, or it will somehow would not launch. And I'm not too sure why that was. Maybe you could get it to work. Uh, but basically for me at least, I have to go through Epic Game Launcher. So I'm gonna just show you really quickly because there's also another uh, thing really important that you need to know when running Fortnite. Now I feel kind of bad because uh, for a long time since the last video was out, when people ask me about Fortnite, I tell them things like uh, technically you don't need this method to run a controller on Fortnite because uh, Epic Game had that covered. 
but for some reason now when I try it I couldn't run it and I actually have to use this method and it works so hopefully they will give it a try um, but the fact that they were asking was because they tried the method and it didn't work for them so technically you know it's still a problem okay so right now we are in Fortnite I'm going to show you that if you go to settings over here on the menu and then go over to the uh, mouse and keyboard setting which is the fourth tab you'll see something called ignore gamepad input you want to make sure that this is off because a lot of time a common mistake was that somehow they have this on and they couldn't connect to their controller so you want to make sure that it is off uh, and then try so right now I can actually use my controller you can see that if I were to move my controller the uh, UI changes finally I just want to point out that I read every single comment even though there are so many of them uh, but if I do not know the solution to it usually I will not reply the reason is because in the past I used to help individuals trying things out troubleshooting and we spent a lot of time and it was all for nothing so unless I really know the solution to it I will probably give you a reason or something to try if not check the description and see if there's any extra notes sometimes we have different solutions and then I'll put it down in the description instead of making a whole new video and if you really do need help you have to make your problem clear don't just say things like oh I tried everything you said but it doesn't work when you say that I feel like there's nothing else that I could do for you because if you have tried everything that I've said that's everything I know so I don't know how to help you if you could point out certain things that appear differently like for example I remember people telling me that when they run their epic game launcher the uh, interface does not have the steam pop out now this could mean a few things it could mean that you actually did my method without closing your epic games properly so the epic games was not implemented with steam in embedded in it or it could also mean that you have a settings which I'm not going to find it right now but basically steam has a settings where it doesn't show that pop-up so it could still be connected right so the safer way for that is to actually restart the computer so yeah be more descriptive of your problem and if I feel like I know what's going on or if I feel like I could actually help I will reply you okay that is all for this video if it helped you in any way and you're grateful and you want to help me out back you could go to my channel there is a apprise playlist which is basically my second channel and take a look at a few of the videos if you like it do consider following else it's fine thank you very much for watching i wish you the best of luck happy gaming